The Central Institute of Aviation Motors, CIAM, is in the process of developing a hybrid power unit, HPU, for regional aircraft that can accommodate 80 to 100 passengers. Andrei Kozlov, Director General of CM, told Russia Today that the use of liquid hydrogen as a coolant is a unique characteristic of this HPU. This feature will almost triple the power of the electric machinery. The Institute has previously conducted flight experiments on a Yak-40 aircraft with a capacity of up to 32 passengers, which used a hybrid system. Experts argue that the benefits of the hybrid power unit stem from its enhanced efficacy and reduced emissions of harmful substances. The next stage of research and development will involve the development of a high-power HPU with a power output of 1.5 to 2 megawatt, approximately 2,000 to 2,700 horsepower. According to Kozlov, this system will incorporate a new coolant and a more powerful drive system based on a turboshaft engine. The successful completion of this research will enable the development of HPUs that can operate aircraft with a capacity of 80 to 100 seats. Kozlov clarified that we may see aircraft with a power system capable of accommodating 19 passengers in the medium term, 2030 to 2035, and we may see regional aircraft by the 2040s. Liquid hydrogen with a boiling point of minus 253 degrees centigrade and advantages over liquid nitrogen with temperature minus 196 centigrade will replace the current nitrogen coolant. This is one of SIAM's goals in this field. This modification will nearly triple the power of the electric machine while maintaining the weight and dimensions of the HPU. Future use of hydrogen as a fuel could result in a significant increase in energy per unit of mass compared to aviation petroleum while also emitting no carbon dioxide. If approved, Kozlov estimates that the trials of a hydrogen-powered aviation system would take approximately five years. CIM has developed a 300-liter fuel tank demonstrator for liquid hydrogen and is currently conducting research on a fuel system for a liquid hydrogen power unit. CM has previously conducted research on a 500 kilowatt or 679 horsepower HPU in collaboration with SuperOx JSC, UFA State Aviation Technical University, and the Advanced Research Foundation. Its efficacy was evaluated on a YAK-40LL flight laboratory, which is designed to accommodate regional aircraft with a maximum capacity of 32 passengers. The aircraft's front-mount propeller was propelled by an electric motor that was supplied with energy from batteries and a generator that was driven by a gas turbine engine. The gas turbine engine and batteries were operational during launch and ascent. Only the gas turbine engine was operational in cruise mode, which enabled the batteries to recharge. This HPU was the first of its kind to undergo testing under actual operating conditions. The HPU demonstrator consisted of a 500 kilowatt electric motor with high temperature superconducting windings, a serial gas turbine engine with a generator, and a block of lithium ion batteries. It wasn't meant for any particular aircraft. Rather, it conceptually modeled a flight cycle of a regional aircraft during testing. The CAM believes that this additional source's power can optimize the gas turbine engine for cruise flight in the future, leading to a 20% reduction in total fuel consumption. The Institute observed that this configuration has the potential to replace two gas turbine engines, which are costly to produce and maintain, with a single engine. The battery could compensate for the engine's issues during flight. Local and regional aircraft may implement this design. SIAM emphasized that the flying laboratory testing marked a significant advancement for Russia's aviation industry. When compared to conventional aircraft engines, HPUs offer several significant advantages. Two gas turbine engines are the norm for aircraft. The HPU generates electricity using a single unit, batteries, and an electric motor. The hybrid is more compact and lighter than two engines, which enables it to save fuel and increase the payload. In addition, the single gas turbine engine's delicate operation mode is another benefit of the HPU. Typically, aircraft engines operate under extreme and optimal conditions. He said that the HPU virtually eliminates this, thereby enhancing reliability and reducing engine attrition. However, the practical implementation of aviation hybrids faces numerous challenges. HPUs are not readily adaptable to the twin-engine aircraft of the present day.
Russia has the capacity to develop a completely functional HPU, as demonstrated by the work of Saam. This is a potential scenario for the 2030s. However, it is not feasible to implement it on either new or existing aircraft. It is more logical to create a specific aircraft type for the HPU, which will guarantee optimal weight, power, and thrust characteristics. Tests with the Yak-40LL suggest that HPUs could enhance the operational efficacy of domestic aircraft. The hybrid power unit is currently in operation. This is indicative of the substantial advancements made by SIAM. Popov stated that the HPU is in complete compliance with environmental trends and should be more cost-effective to operate. Nevertheless, the primary challenge in achieving HPUs is ensuring the durability of batteries and electric motors under extreme loads. This necessitates the resolution of several critical obstacles. Reliable overheating protection is the most critical aspect of the HPU's electric component. However, adding additional cooling systems could undermine the hybrid's advantages and result in an increase in engine weight. It appears that CIM has resolved this issue by selecting liquid hydrogen as a coolant. Now, do you think Russian research is on par with the Western efforts in this field? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.